As a teenager performing in Disneyland's Magic Shop, I knew being in front of people was what I wanted to do. Then at 17, music came along, and I thought it could be on stage with an instrument somehow. I saw the group The Dillards, and I knew what I wanted. As to what would happen, I had no idea. My name's John McEwen, and uh, I started playing the banjo kind of like this. I started playing the banjo in Orange County, California. It, I wasn't weird though, I mean it was just, I was a teenager with a banjo. And uh, I had a dog, like a lot of kids. And I had an East German Shepherd, actually. It kept people in my yard. back in 1965. As is the case with the good old Grand Old Opry, it was naturally a sold out house. So uh, we went nosing around the building looking for a way to see in. We found the back windows, which looked in right on the stage. Right when we found out where we could watch the stage and see people play, uh, Maybell Carter walks out on stage with Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs. And they did about three tunes together. And, as we stood there in the rain, we felt like we were back in 1948 or something. Russia was like a whole other country. <laughs> yeah, most people we met wanted to hear stories about America, and they were enthralled by them. We played 28 sold-out shows to amazing audiences that still talk about it, and the bike track in Armenia was crazy, fun crazy. It was like being in the Beatles at Woodstock. Times mid song, I drift away. The music takes me back.
with the Dirt Band, it wasn't until our fifth album that we did Mr. Bojangles, and that led to many great things. Like the Will the Circle Be Unbroken album. Who knew that this kid from Orange County would end up in the Library of Congress on, as they say, one of America's most important recordings? I didn't. This journey has been great so far, and I love telling people about it, and I look forward to seeing just where it goes from here. Now, while we're going to the interior of the aircraft and the safety features, you can find the dog's coffee sound.